point is, this man who professes to want you for his wife is in bed with another woman a week before your wedding. I said, how do you know? Were you there? Did you have him followed? You had him followed. How could you do something like that? Man, I did it for you. To protect you. You did this for me? Utterly destroying my belief in the man I want to marry minutes before I walked down the aisle? And you did this for me? Mr. Spencer? I'm so terribly sorry. Thank you, Krist. I am too. So terribly sorry. Have you talked to her? No. Just the doctor has. I understand he thinks it might be exhaustion. No one's spent as much time with Caroline as I have the last few days. The excitement, the activity. She's been thriving on it. You were the last one to talk to her before the wedding. Did she seem exhausted to you? I'm sorry. I know how worried you are about her. I really didn't mean That's... to. Thank you, Kristen. Well, if it's any consolation, you're not alone. Your daughter's fiance. He's very concerned about her, too. Ridge loves her, Mr. Spencer. So much. Of course, that's it. It all fits together. Spencer goes in to see her before the wedding, and then she faints while coming down the aisle. He told her, Thorne. He told Caroline about me and Alex in that hotel room. He probably even showed her that damn photograph. Ridge, you don't know that. Come on. Why else would she faint? Flu. Exhaustion. Fatigue. No. That's it. I know it is. Think about it. Why would Spencer wait until the last minute to lay that on Caroline? It doesn't make sense. If, if he had told Caroline about you and Alex, there's no way that that wedding would have ever gotten as far as it did. You're right. It wouldn't have gotten that far. She would have walked out of here. I mean, wouldn't she? No, Ridge. If Spencer had told Caroline about you and Alex, there's no way that wedding would have ever gotten as far as it did. God, I hope you're right. And yet, what, what could have caused Caroline to collapse like that? You heard Dr. Adams. Exhaustion. Maybe. Just maybe. I've got to go see Spencer. I've got to be sure. You can't. Kristen's in there with him. You want our sister to hear about this? I keep wishing to God I had that night to live over again. When you spent with Alex? It wasn't even a night. More like an hour. But enough time for Spencer to have those damn photographs taken. 
If I only knew then what I know now. What's that? How much she means to me, Thorn. I don't want to lose her. I don't want you to either. She's still asleep. She'll probably be out all night. Doctor sedated her. Poor Mr. Spencer. Pretty upset. Worse than I thought he'd be. Did he say anything? About what? I don't know. What he was feeling? He feels like any father would feel if something like this happened to his daughter. How are you feeling? Um, I just want to get in there and see her. Assuming she's okay. Are we going to have a wedding tomorrow? Things are pretty much up in the air, sis. Thanks for coming by. I'll be waiting here. she come to it all? No. Kristen tells me that you were with Caroline just before the wedding. That's right. You told her, didn't you? It's over, Forrester. It's tragic that she has to go through this, but... It is over. You're the most insensitive human being I've ever met. Your own daughter. It would have been insensitive to let her marry a man like you. I'm the one who told her the truth. You self-righteous son of a... Oh, yes, call me names. It's easy being self-righteous compared to self-indulgent like you. Could break you in two for what you've done to us. I'd like to give you the chance, Rich. But really would. But my concern is with her. Caroline. My baby. You see, she couldn't go through it. That's the silver lining to this whole filthy mess. When she was presented with the truth, my daughter just couldn't do it. Now we get her out of here, get her home, move on to better things, and forget that this whole ugly episode ever happened. You're fooling yourself, mister. She'll never go anywhere with you. Who else does she have? Certainly not you. You bastard. 
You poisoned her against me. And I love her. Just like you love the little tramp in the hotel. Go ahead. Go on. Go on, hit me. That's your bloody style, isn't it? Uh, no. 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 Uh, 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 uh. Oh, my God. 